Hello everyone, my name is Enrique Guzman and I am an RMM admin here at Proval Tech. Today I will be showing you how to create a script that puts the output into a custom field. Please click the like and subscribe button in the bottom right corner so you never have to miss out on another video. Let's get to it. So before you create the script, you have to create the custom field where you want the output to uh, live. Um, before this video, I already went ahead and created that custom field so we don't have to make, take too much of your time. Um, but let's go into creating that script. So we're going to go under the automation and then go to tasks. From here, um, once it loads, we're going to go ahead and select the add and then do script editor. From here, we're just going to fill out the basic information. We're just going to give this a name, so PS version for this example. Um, and then description will get the version of the PS of the machine. And then select a category. I'm just going to do, let's see if data is there, data collection, since we're you know gathering some information from the machine. Once you have this all filled out, um, we do not need any parameters for this basic script. This is just an example. Now you are more than welcome to have parameters in your scripts, but we're just going to go into the script editor. And from here, we're going to add some logic. So we're going to go ahead and hit uh, add row function. We're going to keep it as function and then we're just going to type PowerShell. And then we're going to look for PowerShell script. From here, we're going to you know, put in the com the PowerShell that you are trying to execute. Um, for example, I already have it, so we're just gonna paste it in there. And then for the seconds here, um, I'm gonna leave it for 300 seconds. Now, if you run into scripts and they're constantly timing out, then I recommend increasing that to a maybe double it. Um, but for right now, for this example, we're just gonna do 300. We're gonna hit save, and then the next thing, we're gonna add another row. And then we're going to do script log. Um, from here, we're going to do a variable. So we're going to do percentage output uh, percentage. This will give us the information of the PowerShell and put it into the logs so our custom field can grab it. Hit save. And then the last thing we're going to do is going to add another row. And we're going to type custom and then set custom field. Again, we're going to look for the custom field that we created. Um, like I said, I recreated one, so we're going to do PowerShell version. And then, uh, wrong one, Power, oh. da, 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 da. PowerShell, uh, let's see, PS, there we go, PS version. And then we're going to do uh, same thing, percentage, output, percentage. Hit save, and now we're gonna, once everything is configured, we're gonna hit save to save this uh, script. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a particular device, and I'm gonna show you how it all works. So, for example, we're just gonna go into this machine right here. Just gonna click on it, and then we're gonna go to custom fields. And then we're going to look for that PowerShell custom field that we created. So let's do 50. Uh, da, 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 da. And there is the PowerShell version, and it's blank. So we're just going to go ahead and run that script that we just created. Uh, PowerShell, uh, what did I name it? PS version. There it is. PS version. And then we're going to hit run task. And then we're going to give it a, a couple seconds here for it to, you know, run and execute. Let's see. It should be a fairly quick uh, script. Nothing yet. We're going to refresh it one more time here. Still running. And I'm going to pause this video and then continue once it's finished. Alrighty, so the script finished and as we can see it was successful and if we click on it it's going to give us the result, so the output. So it looks like it's a 5.1 version. Now if you go into the custom fields and then look for that same custom field, it should be here as well. 
And this is very useful if you are trying to create a monitor and just trying to monitor for this data. Um, you can easily put it into a custom field and create a monitor and go from there. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on CWRMM. Let us know what else you would like to see, or if you have any questions, please leave your response in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe.